look, uh, the real guides are, re uh, are really benevolent as uh, they have been guiding man through all his uh, discoveries and uh, inventions, maybe to benefit uh, life on this, uh, what we call the round worlds. Now, do you think uh, uh, the help provided man has been has been double-edged? Is it is this help? Is it like a double-edged sword or what? Dwayne? Well, it's more than obvious it is, Charles, right? Yes. Everything has its consequences, and the thing is that, uh, yes, it has its perks, and it has its consequences. Everything does. So you invent the piston engine. Wow, it's a cool thing. We can go faster. We can get there faster. But at the same time, we're polluting the air as we're going. So uh, everything has its consequences. And yes, uh, the boys, uh, in their own way, it just, just depends. They decide, okay? And, um, you know, the real reference uh, to what the, the guides uh, present is always something along the natural environment. What the individual decides to invent or create, that's up to them. There's a difference. So I wouldn't say that the real guides have prompted the invention of things, etc., uh, unless they individually have decided to do so, etc. And again, uh, we are to go through creation, uh, the good, bad, the ugly, the indifferent, whatever, to discover uh, what we don't need also. You see, that's the whole part of it. And so this is where we've ended up to where, uh, you know, it's possible to make better choices, but because of how the system has been created, that's a toughie. And you can say, you can say, oh, we can do this, we can do that, we can do that. Oh, yeah, those are ideas. Anybody can make up an idea. But to realistic, realistically do it, that becomes different. It's like, oh, well, we can just clean up the air. Well, the air is bad now. It's full of all these poisons and pollutants. But, you know, we have the technology to do it. Okay, that's great. When's it going to be done? Because it's not. You see, and that's what... People, you know, again, they don't like to hear that. They like to play with the idea, thinking that it will be done because they have the idea that it can be done. But it's in the doing, isn't it? So people have created themselves into a particular position. They've agreed to the creation of others. And so, uh, yeah, it's a two-edged sword. And so what do you do now? Now you got to really figure it out, don't you? Or you don't. Do you just let it go? Do you just let it slide? Do you just live your life? It's like, well, I can't do anything about it, etc. Well, I've decided certain things that only a very few individuals know. And the world's not going to know it yet. But And the world's not really ready for it because most people won't understand it. But I decided it. And it's being done. And I have the backing, which is really cool because I decided it. Because I, I will step into it. You see, it's just more it's more than an idea, but most people won't even consider it or that it can even be done. You see, realistically, any of us can do whatever we want. OK, we can. But can we manage it? Uh, and is there backing to it? Is there a uh, you know, is there an agreement to it? And it just depends upon who's agreeing to it. You see. So we have all these systems in the world. We have all these teachings, whatever, and they look good. And but who's who's really agreeing and backing them? For the most part, the reptilians are, and people that that control these things are thinking that oh, we have backing, we have agreement. Yeah, but with with who? So uh, you know, this is very interesting situation we're in in creation. It's not at all what you think it is. Not at all. And so until you can see beside it, well, you can't. And so most people are so self-convinced, like you, with your job there. You, you're thinking you have a good job. Guess what? It's not at all what you think it is. But you can keep thinking that. You see? 
So you're the decider every moment. Everybody is. But will you learn to see something else and take the risk to do it? Who will do that? That really makes sense uh, with everything. Let's just say on the earth that's taking place here. Who will do that? A lot of ideas floating around. But who's doing it? Are the oceans? Is Fukushima? It's been on for, what, eight years now? Is uh, People can clean it up. Are they doing it? Are they allowed to do it? You see, that's the difference. People are thinking in their minds, oh, we can clean it up. It can be fine. Or it'll just go off with the tides. Will it? We're all in this encased bubble here. It's very, very real. And so, yes, we are the experiment while we're experimenting. And so the decision is made and the opportunity is here to see more, you know, and the new presentation, what I've created is the best reference to the real universes to this isness, to recognize it now. It's more than the thrills of astral projection and uh, remote viewing and all these other things and prophecy and all these things we've come to know. It's way more than that. It's just very, very real. But you got to take the time to see it. So, yes, Charles, it's all a two-edged sword, and that's why we're here. But until you really consider things for what they're not, then you're going to keep considering them for what you think they are. Is is that going to work for you? You decide. Okay, then you say uh, there is no no situation uh, can become a, a limitation or restriction for us unless we we tacitly agree to it and give it life. Um, so can can you say something about conscious and unconscious agreements? So in the human body, uh, our hands seem to be tied, and we must uh, we must agree consciously or unconsciously. You know, you see, we'll, the space in which we live. We live in uh, it's full of restrictions of all kinds, and uh, we just find ourselves agreeing to some things, uh, agreeing to many things unconsciously. So, so what can you say about this kind of unconscious or conscious agreement, Greg? Well, simply put, all creation is restriction. Even though people uh, can think in the terms of, well, I can think anything I want, I can do anything I want, that's true. But they don't see the cause and effect of that. And and that's okay, that's not a bad thing. It, that's just how creation is. But all creation, no matter how good it looks, no matter what you do, is restriction. And you will be restricted by it. Uh, it's very obvious to see that as a person is born into this world, as soon as they're born into this world, they're growing older. And all of a sudden, uh, at some point, and it all sh always shows up, you're old and you're restricted, aren't you? So uh, the reality of ourselves is our real awareness. So yes, while we're in this world, I'll say this, you, you have to deal with the world as it is, because this is just how it is. I have to deal with it doesn't mean I have to like it, okay? No, I don't care for it, and I see what's going on, but, you know, the thing is, is that I just let it be accordingly. I'm not going to rebel against the world and what people are doing. I'm going to, you know, put things out there and share them. But it's all about your real awareness. You have to see beyond that, okay, and learn to see beyond all the restrictions. But again, for the most part, most people feel that, well, this is me and I want to take care of myself and uh, I want to be OK. I want to be happy. You know, I want others to like me, etc. All these personal ideas, which are fine. That's a choice you make. I put the whole of life before me. The thing is, it's like there's no me. It's it, I am the experiencer in life. And I like that a lot better. Uh, it's less restriction, it's less burden, but I vacillate back and forth too because I have this personal self that I've created and I have to deal with. It's kind of like an old car that you bought and you just got to keep it running and you got to wash it once in a while, whatever, it has maintenance. But again, uh, creation has its purpose, but eventually when you have the awareness, you no longer need that. So, um, 
Yes, Charles. Uh, uh, our situation's interesting here. Uh, and uh, it, it, again, it's a choice. Yes, we, we have the world. And yeah, things are going on. So what do we do? Is there another way to see things? Well, yes, there always is, but you got to figure that out. So what we're doing here, what I'm doing, and the others like Kelsey and, and others that, are, that have stepped up, uh, we're giving the hints, okay? Yes, there is something else, but each person has to uh, step into the unknown to see that and possibly bring it forward by the very action that they do by getting involved in the activity. Well, that activity ignites the awareness, you might say, of the individual to see more. And as they do, as they step up and acknowledge this reality, this isness, well, this isness supports them. It's very interesting how it works. And it's, it's just not, it's first started with the idea of it, and then you get into the actuality of it by recognizing it. And so little by little, you add up this recognition, and eventually you see that it's endless. So anything can be decided, anything at all. But you have to be careful, too, because you see that, you know, the people that have created the H-bomb, uh, GMO food, HARP, uh, Wi-Fi and all these things. Yeah, these seems like cool ideas at the time, but all of a sudden they're all dangerous. So it's it's not necessarily the creation of things accordingly, uh, it, but at the same time now uh, this should this should get a lot of people activated to see more than just creation because uh, of what's taking place here. So again, it's this is the situation we're in and. Uh, you know, you got to figure it out. And we are. We're figuring a lot of things out for people. But the final part comes, their real awareness. They, they got to learn to see that. That cannot be read about or figured out, etc., through reading or a mental process. No. And this is what the world tries to convince you and market you into, that you've got this or that. Yeah, you can lose weight according to some... Uh, diet system that you're working, whatever. Oh, and, and all of a sudden, oh, life is good. I lost weight. Uh, but uh, there's a lot more to it than that. But you're still growing old, aren't you? And again, it's it's guaranteed you you will forget you were here until you have the awareness to uh, see beyond creation itself. So, yeah, with that, Charles, um, yes, thank you very much. You know, it's wonderful that you're coming here. And thank you for, uh, say hello to Miriam if you can. Uh, and see what's going on there. So uh, were you able to make contact with the other Africans? Are they, uh, are they looking to uh, do something or create something? Well, I've not been able to, to have any conversation with uh, uh, any of them. Uh, it's only... Uh, is it uh, what's the name again? Let me check. Uh, um, where is a uh, uh, Chidi? One quote, one quote Chidi. He asked me today uh, to help him, have tell him how to say. Can you show me how to start a project? So I gave him some ideas. Uh, said, uh, told him that the project is a very simple thing to uh, to do, and they have the the environment there. It's not like me here, who if you where you start anything, the police will be after you. You will be deported. So. So I gave him some ideas on the, how to go about uh, starting something. He can even go solo, like uh, it's been it was suggested by uh, by uh, friends on this forum. So I have a host of ideas that I wrote, uh, uh, telling him to 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 try, just to give him a an idea of what to do. So, I hope uh, he would uh, 
he will do something for himself because as you have you've often emphasized it is all for you so let's wait and see what i will, I will follow up with him and see uh, what he has uh, chosen to do and uh, maybe uh, we'll work together again to to perfect it so that is uh, that is that's the only person who 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 stepped up who contacted me i just read i read his mail uh, at about uh, 7 or 8 o'clock yeah yeah, yeah I, charles uh -huh. charles yeah Yes, I, I get that. We've known Chitty for years, actually about four years now. And so he's, yes, he, we were talking with him last night. And again, he kept asking. And uh, again, what does it take for a person? So let's say everything is illegal uh, creatively that you can do in Africa or wherever. Let's just say it's all illegal and you'll be arrested for it, okay? So what, what is it that you could do? Well, you know, maybe you do nothing. Or maybe you could just go around because, you know, people are walking outside. They're at the marketplace. They're going to the store. They're going here and there, right, all the time. They're going to their jobs. So maybe you could take the risk to have a little adventure. This is the adventure part. And just bring it into a conversation. And, and I used to just go up on the beach and talk to people. I used to go to the beach and just start talking to people. And just simply ask them, do you fly in your dreams? You know, you could just start off that way. You know, just have a little conversation. Do you fly in your dreams? Uh, and if you'd like to, just use the new you, you. So, again, there's something. There's always something, isn't it? And so, again, uh, it's not that hard. So, it's not that it's got to be a big project. In other words, the project idea is why not... Why not just do something, okay? You, you need to activate yourself to better recognize your real awareness. That's what we're suggesting. But if you don't want to better recognize your real awareness and you've read, read the materials and you're self-convinced the thinking that that's it, well, again, it's not because it's only a reference. You need to activate it. So, see, there's one way, Charles, and... Uh, if he gets arrested, well, he just better have his tennis shoes on and just keep running. So the idea is that, you know, uh, I would say that people are allowed to talk to others. At least you don't have to have meetings. You don't have to build things, etc. So a project could be just going out there and talking to people and ask them, do you fly in your dreams? You see? Yeah, then uh, let me not cut you short. That is that's exactly what I, I suggested to him. Yeah. Among amongst other amongst many other uh, other things that I I mentioned, and uh, as for him, he, he cannot get into any trouble. I said he has a good environment to to do that. Uh, it's uh, it's not like me in uh, China, which is uh, some kind of uh, restricted place. Uh, where one is uh, sort of boxed in, you see. You have ideas, but uh, you sort of afraid to put them into, into, pra into practice because you don't know what can happen, you see. Yeah, so I don't know whether the people are so paranoid or what. Um, they look at uh, foreigners, you know, here people look at themselves as a special or they are of a certain race you know that is not how chinese do eat uh, this is not good for china or some kind of thinking like that and uh, i really wish that uh, many more uh, chinese uh, people get to know about the new presentation and uh, try to help their society because it's it's terrible you see, the, the development here is on the beautiful roads, beautiful houses, beautiful parks, everything shiny, but the mind is walled up. You have to, even the Great Wall of China is, is very uh, small. 
in terms of what they have in their minds, you know. Well, that's everywhere, Charles. So, again, uh, it's the entire world. It's nothing but restriction. So you, you decide to do it or not, but, uh, and it's not always possible. No, uh, it's not. And so, but you decide the adventure. You decide to be the risk taker. I know that I'm watched all the time and they don't want me here. And so on the real side, I see this and restrictions have been set up to even curtail, uh, you know, getting the funding to do the projects, et cetera. They, uh, the individuals that control this have confessed. They say, we're, we're blocking you. It's that simple. You see? So I, but I keep on it. I keep doing interesting things. And so again, there's always a bigger picture. I see that. So what I do is I take the risk to do that. So, but again, each person decides their adventure, you know, just like uh, Robin Hood, you know, uh, lived in the forest with his merry men, robbed from the rich, gave to the poor, whatever. I don't, uh, I don't advocate that. The idea is that, again, creating your adventure to become more aware or you become usually become stale, commonplace, and you just kind of go along with the whole system and that's it. And you forget why you came here in the first place you see but there's you, there's you got to try many things to activate this recognition and that's up to each person to do that and if they don't they don't that's all there is so we can all we can do is provide the reference and share the ideas about what is possible that's up to each person to activate their own adventures <music>